wine weirdos. Christopher. Let's check out the 2012 Beekeeper Rock Piles in Findel. This is out of the Madrone Spring Vineyard up in Sonoma County. We're big fans of Beekeeper Ian, who does learn about wine. Great resource for people who are in Southern California. Incredible. He's one of the winemakers here. Yep. And this comes in at around 14.7 alcohol, around $70. Mm -hmm. So more premiums in. And only 140 cases of this are made. Gorgeous color. Just yep. Purple garnet ruby just coming out of the glass visually. Mm -hmm. What's it doing on the aromatics? It's really interesting on the aromatics right now. I'm getting like a tin thing, like a tin foil or like a tin shed, which is very interesting and intriguing, like a wet tin shed. There's a little fruit hiding under there. It's generally pretty closed right now. This has been a bottle about a year. Really interested to know what it's doing on the palate. It's what we've come to expect from Beekeeper hyper finessed mm. working the fruit just immaculately precise just velvety just just amazing tannin that's just mm. sinking it's like top to bottom of my palate sinking in mm. and just absorbing all this lush dark fruit yep hint of jamminess loads of spice just a touch of oak visual visible <clears throat> vanilla rounding out the outer palette here. Gorgeous. Yeah, the spice plays incredible. There's a curry powder and cinnamon and nutmeg mm -hmm. thing coming through that's really unique and beautiful. I am a big fan of Beekeeper and this seems to be a little more finessed, a little more nuanced and a little more, dare I say, subtle mm -hmm. compared to previous efforts. Uh, so I love where they're going with Alcohol this. Alcohol at the 14.7, completely transparent. Completely, yeah. Completely. And oak is very transparent as well. That's, yeah, I'd agree. Mm -hmm. I'd say drink this one over the next one to three years. Great stuff from Beekeeper. We'll be back with more on Wine Weirdos. Cheers. Cheers.